Okay, uh, all right, team. Uh, thank you so much for coming online today. Uh, as usual, all right, I think this is going to be a very, very important uh, session just to educate, especially the new one that are coming into the crypto space. All right, it is so important uh, for you to be able to to grasp and understand uh, about about this whole aspects of the. Uh, crypto space okay especially bitcoin all right as i always mention it is an asset based income all right it is always important for you to earn an asset based income now tonight the education is going to be very special i'm going to cover uh, one of the very very important uh, aspects uh, of the crypto okay i'm going to give you i'm going to show you the difference okay the difference between the fiat money and also the cryptocurrency now Please understand when we speak about fiat, we are talking about ringgit, we are talking about government issued currency, okay? So it can be USD, it can be Japanese yen and whatever, okay? These are basically government issued money. Now, please understand, okay? Government issued money is no longer backed with gold, all right? Since 1971, okay, government money is no longer backed with gold. So therefore, okay, therefore the government can keep printing money as much they like as much they required all right so on the other hand we have the cryptocurrency and tonight we're going to focus okay specifically on bitcoin and i would like you to look into the comparison but i'm bringing you somewhere because i want to show you one big uh most important thing which is the power okay now i want you to compare whether in fiat currency do you have a power Okay, or your power is decreasing and when you look into Bitcoin, is your power being restored and your power is increasing, okay? So this is a very, very important uh, information. If you are going to talk to someone about Bitcoin, you must be able to give them, okay, the differentiation or the comparison between the fiat and the cryptocurrency. Now, first thing first, okay, fiat is physical, right? It is a physical money. All right, and we have Bitcoin, which is a digital asset or digital currency. All right, so now because of COVID, okay, because of COVID and pandemic, today we can see, okay, that the banks around the world are actually moving from physical to cashless, right? Because now they are using COVID as a excuse uh, because of the transfers of the virus and bacteria in the in the paper note and so on. Okay, so they are basically going for cashless okay but we already have but this, this is just an excuse because they know that the digital currency is taking over they know digital currency is completely uh, cashless okay electronic and therefore the only way for them to move forward is basically okay to adopt what is actually taking place with bitcoin now the other comparison is that fiat money is unlimited supply which simply means bank can actually print as much they like okay as what we are seeing for the past 10 months okay for the past 10 months close to two trillion dollar has already been printed by by us okay so this is it so you can see there is an oversupply of fiat money and oversupply is definitely okay it's definitely going to decrease the purchasing power of the people on the street right now when we look into bitcoin bitcoin is scarcity okay scarcity means okay there can only be a fixed supply so all of you know right if you study bitcoin you know bitcoin there can only be 21 million ever existed now so far okay so far 18.6 over million has already been pre been, been minted out so that simply means we only have about 2.3 something million bitcoin okay that is going to be minted so now the question is that by when by when 21 million will arrive or finish now 21 million will only arrive the next 120 years okay so just imagine okay another 2.3 million is going to take another 120 years okay shortly i will let you know why is it bitcoin is a scarcity and why bitcoin has a fixed supply and why why bitcoin takes 120 years okay to reach 21 million now the other aspects is that fiat is always centralized okay that's the reason why you always hear about centralized central bank because it is centralized okay now please understand bank will never want to lose control the financial institution okay will never want to lose control they want to control everything they want to track everything all right and and therefore it is it is completely centralized it is permission all right so even if the banks around the world are adopting blockchain that blockchain is not not a decentralized but it is a centralized blockchain 
please understand that okay so when you hear about digital yuan or digital dollar so although the banks are introducing digital assets but those are basically running on a centralized blockchain a centralized blockchain is private a centralized blockchain uh, it, you need a permission in order to use you need to do kyc all right now on the other hand bitcoin is decentralized okay it requires the consensus in the network that are distributed network or nodes whereby you require those consensus okay there must be 51 percent consensus for the transaction to actually be confirmed and be validated on the blockchain can you see that and because bitcoin is decentralized there is no one can actually control bitcoin or manipulate bitcoin itself okay that's the reason why as i mentioned okay in, in most of my presentation and training okay no no banks okay or no no uh, what to say institution will adopt bitcoin because bitcoin is decentralized okay it is completely they have no control over it that's the reason why 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 the banks are not using bitcoin but they are creating their own digital currency because they want to make it centralized okay so that they can have control so basically anything that is centralized is same as the fiat money can you see that so even if they create a digital dollar it is now becomes like a fiat money can you see that so that is the reason being number four okay fiat money is issued by the government okay so no one else is allowed to issue so therefore they can manipulate they can decide the quantity they want can you see that so this is the reason why okay they take control of the uh, of the of the circulations of the fiat money now if you look into Bitcoin, Bitcoin is produced based on the mathematical protocol, okay? So there is an algorithm, there is a protocol within within the network, okay, that has been built. So no one can change, okay, those, uh, those protocols and those mathematical uh, protocols. So there are miners around the globe, okay, that are basically controlling, that are basically, uh, what to say, verifying, okay, verifying all those transactions that is taking place. So, so now, instead of, now, we are moving away from believing the human now we can believe the machine okay so that's the reason why bitcoin is a mathematical protocol it is a machine okay so the machines has no emotions machine can't be manipulated by humans and so on okay so this is the reason why okay this is the reason why bitcoin is so powerful next the value of bitcoin is decided by sorry the value of fiat money is decided by the market and also regulation well, if you look into Bitcoin, it is decided by the supply and demand. Now, the question is that Bitcoin existed in 2008. At that time, we have huge supply of Bitcoin, but the demand was very less because it is only a P2P. But today, if you look, right, why the Bitcoin price is actually appreciating because we have less supply. All right, we have less supply. Now, when we talk about Bitcoin supply, we are talking about Bitcoin economics. We are talking about the halving that is taking place every four years. So every four years, Bitcoin supply is reduced in a fixed and controlled manner over time. So that is the reason why it will take another 120 years for 21 million to be fully minted because of the halving economics that is within the protocol of the Bitcoin blockchain. Okay, now we can see that there are more and more private institutions. Okay, we are, have more and more, uh, uh, what to say, private entities that are coming into, okay, into at the space and they are basically buying up bitcoin today the bitcoin supply is not enough and this is the reason why because of the huge demand bitcoin price is actually accelerating all right now one of the things that i really really want you to understand is this okay when you talk about the fiat money and with all these features that you have just heard okay which is unlimited supply it is controlled by the government and so on this is the reason why we are facing an inflationary so if you are holding a fiat money or if you are saving fiat money in the bank, you're going to see that the power of your money is decreasing over time. What do I mean? Your purchasing power, your buying power is going to decrease over time. Can you see that? So the more you actually accumulate and hot fiat money, such as ringgit or Australian dollars and so on, over time you will see that your buying power is decreasing. Can you see that? So please understand inflation is a legal way to steal from the citizen. Inflation is the legal way how to keep the citizen powerless. 
So that is the power. This is the this is the way how the government, okay, how the how the government is using okay uh, uh, the, the money itself or the fiat money itself uh, based on the inflationary to keep the people's power so that's the reason why you can see that 99 percent okay over 90 over percent of those who save money in the bank are the biggest loser because of the inflation all right but if you look into bitcoin bitcoin is a deflationary Okay, what do I mean? Your buying power increases over time. Can you see that? So why? Because Bitcoin has a store of value. All right, so that's the reason why. One Bitcoin in 2010 uh, is basically a dollar. Today, one Bitcoin standing above $50,000. Now, look at your purchasing power. What is happening now by holding Bitcoin? If now you would convert your Bitcoin to ringgit, you will be actually uh, getting more ringgit. So can you see that now? Now, cash is king. Now you become stronger because you have more ringgit or more fiat money for you to be able to possess, okay? For you to be able to buy properties, for you to be able to acquire things. Now you can do it cash, not on credit because now you have the buying power. Can you see that? So this is the most important features, okay? That you need to understand and the reason why, reason why we are moving away from the fiat into the cryptocurrencies, okay? So this is one of the powerful factors so now if i ask you a question tonight do you do you want your power to decrease over time or do you want your power to increase over time you make the choice tonight, all right? So that's the reason why, okay? We are encouraging you to basically look how you can earn Bitcoin, okay? Look how you can earn Bitcoin. Now, to, to give you a simple idea about inflation and deflation, you, you can look into this picture. Now, can you see that? From 1929 all the way to 2020, how much things can you buy, all right? So, you can see that because of the decreasing power okay, of purchasing, there are less and less things you can spend today with your fiat money. Okay, So this is the reason why inflation is silently robbing you of your purchasing power. But if you look into Bitcoin, Bitcoin is deflationary. Can you see that? Bitcoin has been protecting you from the Federal Reserve since 2008. Since the inception of Bitcoin, you have been protected. So you are now no longer under bondage or under oppression because now with just one Bitcoin, imagine people today can buy Tesla. All right, people today can actually buy one car with only one Bitcoin. Isn't that amazing? So just imagine what will happen as we go on, okay, the next five years or the next 10 years, okay, when we are predicting even by end of this year, one Bitcoin will be $100,000, am I right? Can you see that if you wait until end of this year, probably some of us can own an S-Class Mercedes-Benz with only one Bitcoin. Isn't that right? So that's, this is a clear, okay, a clear, uh, what to say, comparison between the fiat and also the cryptocurrency. So I hope tonight, okay, if you are listening to me, if you are, if you are watching this video, uh, you are looking into this education, I hope you understand why are you, okay, why are you shifting from fiat or why are you actually holding Bitcoin? Why are you actually uh, stacking up more and more Bitcoin? It doesn't matter what investment platform you are in. It doesn't matter even if you want to buy Bitcoin, okay, but continuously stack up, okay, continuously, okay, hold this Bitcoin because one day you're going to see that your power is going to increase and that is going to set your life free. That is also going to set the life of your family and your friends and the community around you. Now, just imagine, okay, just by holding this Bitcoin, okay, and when this Bitcoin price actually increases, do you believe that you can pay off your debt? Do you believe you can be completely free from that? Can you just imagine that one day you're going to be able to buy businesses cash? One day you're going to be able to invest into real estates and all this uh, opportunity that is around you. Why? Because you have a asset in your hand that is growing over time. You have an asset called Bitcoin, okay? That gives you an asset-based uh, incomes, okay? So this is important. So this is the reason why I want to be able to, to help you to change the way you think, okay? Think about asset-based saving. Think about asset-based income. 
Alright, so move away from fiat saving. Alright, look into how you can save Bitcoin every month. It doesn't matter even if you buy. I remember right, last month I actually, I, I, I am normally doing dollar cost averaging for my two children. I save Bitcoin for, the, for them every single month. Last month I remember I bought Bitcoin, I actually transferred $100 worth of Bitcoin into their wallet in February. Amazingly, this month that $100 has become $315. Now you let me you tell me can you get this kind of increment of value if that big uh, if that hundred dollar is actually sitting in my bank account I will never be right so this is powerful so you can change the way you think okay look into asset based saving and look into asset based income as you are earning more and more asset based income take some of it okay take some of it and put it aside as an asset based saving because that saving is going to basically set your life free and 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 gives you a financial breakthrough and financial freedom like you have never never imagined before all right so with that thank you so much okay for listening tonight i believe okay those of you are listening you're going to be blessed and i pray that not pray that you will okay you will see the restoration of power back into your hand all right so with that god bless each and every one of you